Hi there. So in this video, I'll tell you another way to do the, the setup for a video, uh, how to share the concepts that you want to get across to students, uh, and how to do the processing at the end. So let's get started. So in this version, the tools that I'm using, uh, I've got a Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using the camera built into the computer, although a webcam would give a better quality. Uh, in terms of visuals, I'm using an iPad so I can do some handwritten notes and uh, a PowerPoint or actually a Keynote uh, slides. In terms of software, I'm using a software, an, an app called Notability. I'm using Camtasia to record and process the video, uh, although I could use something else uh, like YouTube or Zoom, for example. And I'm actually using Zoom uh, just to get a fancier background because the reality is that I'm in my office right now. And so in terms of mechanics, I wanted to be able to annotate uh, the slides that I was using. Um, and so I'm doing that using Notability. Uh, this is an app that I'm using right now on my iPad, but you could also use it uh, with an external tablet, such as a Wacom tablet, and Notability works on PC or Mac. So the thing that I like about this is that I can import the PowerPoint or the PDF to Notability. I can annotate those slides, I can correct mistakes, um, I can record directly in Notability, or I can record in Tem Camtasia. I can speed up any of the slower parts, so if I want the handwriting to go faster, for example. Uh, I do have to convert any Notability uh, files to MP4s, but there's a number of converters online that can do that for free. Last thing I like is that if I want to point to certain things, Notability has an equivalent of a laser. Now, once I have my main slides and annotations done, I really don't need to do anything else. Uh, but one of the reasons I do like to have a, an editing software that's a little bit more than YouTube uh, is just so that I can also layer in images if I want, or even animations. So when I'm ready to do the processing, I use Camtasia to do all of the editing. Uh, as an alternative, I could use uh, YouTube Studio. When I'm done with Camtasia, I export the file as an MP4, upload that to YouTube. That allows for the automatic captioning. Uh, it also allows for a different streaming rate. It optimizes the streaming rate for different viewers. So somebody's got a really bad Wi-Fi connection, it'll optimize that for them. And then I link to that YouTube file in Brightspace. Thanks for watching.